The electronic systems in today's cars rely on a series of sensors attached to warning lights and symbols on the dashboard. There are two main types of dashboard warning lights available, red and orange. A red warning light usually indicates a severe problem with your car. If your dashboard warning light is red you should act quickly to resolve it. An orange or yellow dashboard warning light means the engine management system, the computer running the engine, has detected a malfunction. You can continue to drive a car with an orange dashboard warning light, but you should visit your local service center as soon as possible for diagnosis and repair. If the lights are in green or blue, it tells you the system is on and it's operating. Now let's take a look at these dashboard indication lights in details, starting with warning light symbols. Engine Temperature Warning Light It is also known as Coolant Temperature Warning Light. This temperature warning light means that your engine is running at a too high temperature, or you can say, your engine is overheating. If your vehicle's cooling system is working properly, this should never occur. However, a problem with the cooling system or low coolant can cause the engine to overheat, which leads to engine damage. Driving your car when it's overheating can cause severe and sometimes permanent damage to your engine. Hence, when a temperature warning light shows up, it is best to pull over to the side of the road as soon as it is safe to do so, then shut off your engine and wait for things to cool down. Let's look at some common reasons that cause an engine to overheat. If car has too little or no coolant, leakage in the cooling system, a broken water pump, radiator issues, or engine oil is too low. Remembering a few quick tips as you drive can help to alleviate permanent engine damage down the road. Check your vehicle's coolant levels on a consistent basis. Store an extra bottle of new antifreeze and a gallon of water in your trunk. Do not overuse the car's air conditioning on extremely hot days. Refer to the vehicle owner's manual to stay up to date on coolant service flushes. Battery Charge Warning Light This light indicates that the car's charging system is short of power or is not charging properly. It usually means a problem with the battery itself or the alternator. The charging system warning light should appear for a few seconds when you start the car. But if the battery light indicates while driving the vehicle, that might signal a problem. But there are many reasons why your battery light could turn on. It could mean a bad battery or dead battery, a charging problem, a faulty alternator, a wiring issue, and so on. And while driving with the vehicle's battery light on is possible, but it's not recommended. One major issue could be that the car's charging system is short of power or is not charging properly. It means that your battery is no longer being charged by the alternator and is running only on its charge. That means that your car is only running on battery power that will eventually runs out. First you need to check and clean any rust and then tighten any loose battery cables. But if the car's battery light is still on, it could be a mechanical issue such as a problem with the alternator or voltage regulator, or it could be something settled, such as faulty wiring. Oil Pressure Warning Light This light indicates the loss of oil pressure, that means lubrication is low or lost entirely. Pull over the car as quickly and safely as possible, and check the oil level. Checking the engine oil level is pretty straightforward, just check your car's service manual, and you'll find instructions there on how to do it properly. Open the car's hood and find the dipstick with the engine off, pull the dipstick out from the engine and wipe any oil off its end. Then insert the dipstick back into its tube and push it back in, the dipstick shows the oil is low and needs to be topped off. If the overall oil level is correct, it can also be caused by a faulty oil pump, clogged oil filter, or an internal oil leak. It may be a false alarm caused by a bad oil pressure sensor or faulty wirings. Brake Warning Light This symbol indicates that your handbrake or parking brake is currently engaged. It's a reminder that you should disengage it before attempting to drive. If the light is continuously on even after disengaging the handbrake, that means the hydraulic pressure has been lost in one side of the brake system, or the fluid level in the master cylinder is dangerously low due to a leak somewhere in the brake system. If the brake warning light comes on while you are in traffic or driving, don't panic, your vehicle has more than one hydraulic braking system. So, while it may take a little longer to come to a complete stop than usual, safely pull over 
and have your vehicle towed to your home or to a trusted mechanic to inspect. Brakes are the most important safety feature on your vehicle, so you should not drive your car if your brakes are not working properly. Transmission temperature. This light indicates that the engine temperature has exceeded normal limits. If you see the transmission temperature warning light illuminate while driving, the transmission fluid may be too hot, which can lead to transmission failure. Transmission failures are one of a vehicle owner's worst nightmares, as they are highly expensive to repair, and one of the things that can damage your transmission is overheating. The ideal operating temperature of the transmission fluid is 175 degrees. Overheating occurs after the temperature surpasses 200 degrees, and the failure rate doubles for every additional 20 degree increase. Most modern vehicles will illuminate the transmission temperature warning light in different colors, depending on the severity of the problem. Yellow usually means the issue is less urgent, while red will mean it's very critical, and you should probably get off the road immediately. Now let's look at the safety symbols. Tire Pressure Warning Light This light indicates the pressure is low in one of your tires. The tire pressure monitoring system aims to alert you when tire pressure is too low and could create unsafe driving conditions. Warning lights are usually yellow or amber and resemble a cross-section of a tire with an exclamation point or the letters TPMS. If the light is on, it means your tires could be underinflated, which can lead to undue tire wear and possible tire failure. When air pressure on one or more of your tires falls below 25%, the TPMS light comes on. Before inflating the tires thinking that the air pressure is incorrect, check the pressure of all tires with a gauge, determine the cause of pressure loss, and add air or service the tires as appropriate. Security Alert The security light on your dashboard indicates the car's anti-theft system. It serves two primary purposes. 1. The security light flashes when the ignition is off to show that the security system is active. 2. If the security light stays on when the engine is running and you can't start the car, there's a problem with your anti-theft system. Here are a few possible causes. Battery failure caused the computer to lose track of your key. Smart key malfunction. Locking or unlocking issues. In short, a glowing security light means that your car doesn't trust the key you're using to start the vehicle. In theory, the immobilizer security system could be triggered by an attempted theft, but it's more commonly due to a battery problem. Side airbag. This light indicates a fault with the side airbag, they are usually located in the seat or door panel and inflate between the seat occupant and the door. These airbags are designed to reduce the risk of injury to the pelvic and lower abdomen regions. The indicated light shows a problem has been detected in the system, and one or more airbags may not inflate in the event of a collision. While it's possible that all the airbags could work as intended even with an SRS warning light, but a failure in the airbags is a significant safety concern. So you must avoid driving your car in such a situation. Because, in case of accidents, your car's airbag will not be released and can lead to serious injury. Other common causes that might trigger this light to turn on, that, if the airbag was previously deployed and hasn't been appropriately rested, the light will be on as the airbag cannot be activated. If you haven't activated the airbag light and still the light is on, there must be a problem with your vehicle's computer system, there might not be any issue with the airbag in such a case. Reduced Power Warning This light indicates that the engine computer has limited engine power output. Typically, the engine power reduced warning light on your dashboard means that your vehicle's performance has been reduced to avoid damaging its engine. The computer in your car, also known as ECU, has triggered the reduced power mode after it has detected a system failure. One of the most common triggers is a problem with the electronic throttle actuator control system. Some cars will display this warning light message because of a faulty electronic fan clutch, but some other cars may show this light due to problem with the fuel system. What happens if you drive with reduced engine power? It is possible to drive your vehicle while the reduced engine power light is on, this mode of driving does not pose many risks. However, the car won't be enjoyable to drive due to excessive gas mileage, poor acceleration, and jerky shifting gears in some vehicles.
The seat belt indicator symbol will typically appear on your dashboard when the seat belt reminder sensor detects that you or your passenger is seated in the car without the seat belt securely fastened. Today all cars have sensors in the seat belt for you to be safe. The sensor detects whether the seat belt buckle is latched or unlatched, allowing the passenger safety system to determine the optimum airbag deployment. The system will also go into action if it detects an unfastened seatbelt when the car is traveling at over 15 miles per hour. If your seatbelt light flashes when buckled, the seatbelt sensor may be damaged or the housing where the buckle is inserted is damaged and needs to be replaced. Volkswagen and Audi vehicles have a dashboard light for just about everything. These days, they even have lights to remind you to press the clutch or brake pedal. Depending on the type of transmission you have, you will have one light or the other. For manual transmissions, the press clutch pedal light is a reminder that the clutch needs to be pressed in before the engine can be started. Once the clutch pedal is depressed, the light should go off, and you can begin your journey. The symbol for this light is yellow, and is just a shoe with a circle around it. Unlike the press clutch light, the press brake pedal light is green in color. Only equipped on automatic transmissions, this light will flash after the engine is started and reminds the driver that the brake pedal has to be pressed to shift out of park mode. The light should go out as soon as you have stepped on the brakes. The press brake pedal light is similar to the clutch light, but has extra curved lines on either side to represent brake shoes. Powertrain Fault Light This light indicates that the computer has detected an issue with your vehicle's powertrain or four-wheel drive system. This light looks like a wrench symbol, and mostly Ford vehicles have these indicator lights. Having a powertrain fault tends to happen to older or higher mileage vehicles, and can cause your vehicle's power components to overheat. If you ignore these warnings, your car may operate in a defaulted safe mode until the issue has been repaired. Your vehicle might enter fail-safe mode shortly, after the powertrain malfunction light flashes. Fail-safe mode automatically limits engine power to safely maneuver your vehicle off the road without causing any further damage to your vehicle's components. If this happens, you should only continue to drive as long as necessary to bring your vehicle to rest in a safe location and seek immediate repairs. Power Steering Warning Light This light turns on if there is an issue with the power steering system and will be disabled until fixed. It looks like a steering wheel with an exclamation mark next to it. The light warns you that the power steering system has failed and prompts you to investigate for a cause. The cause may vary according to your car's type of power steering system. For example, in hydraulic power steering systems, a leak in the system causing a low fluid level is the most common cause of this problem. No, don't use it. Without power steering, you may notice as the steering will be heavier, and the vehicle will be very hard to maneuver. You will need to use a lot of caution while driving, so it's best not to use the vehicle. Steering Wheel Lock This light means your steering wheel is locked and cannot be moved. When the ignition is in the off position, turning the steering wheel will cause a spring-loaded lever to engage and lock everything in place. This will prevent anyone from moving your car unless they get hold of the actual keys. To turn off the steering lock, insert the key into the ignition and turn it to at least the first position while turning the steering wheel in either direction. You do not need to activate the steering wheel lock each time you leave your car as it will activate automatically if anyone tries to move the steering wheel. Parking Brake Light The parking brake, also sometimes referred to as the hand brake, is designed to hold your car stationary when you park. This light indicates that your parking brake is currently engaged. The parking brake light will turn on when you engage the brake, and will turn off when the brake is disengaged. It's a reminder that you should disengage it before attempting to drive. In some cars, an electronic parking brake system is used. Traction Control Off and Traction Control Light This light indicates that the vehicle's traction control system has been deactivated. This light indicates that the vehicle traction control system is activated. Traction control is designed to allow the car to accelerate in a slower, more controlled manner. 
The traction control system uses a computer to detect whether one or more of the wheels has begun to slip and lose traction. Loss of traction commonly occurs in snowy conditions when a moving wheel hits a patch of ice and begins to slip. When this lack of traction occurs, the traction control system shifts the power from the wheel that is slipping to the wheels that are still gripping. When the traction control light comes on while driving, you'll need to take caution. It means that the system is deactivated or there is a problem in the traction control system. Can you drive with traction control light on? While your car is typically safe to drive with the traction control light, you should not drive it under certain conditions. If the traction control light, anti-lock braking system light, and the red brake warning light are on, while driving, your entire braking system may be affected. Trailer Tow Hitch Warning This light could indicate that the tow hitch is unlocked or that there's an issue with the lighting system. Check engine and service vehicle soon. It's extremely important to understand the difference between check engine and service engine soon, as many believe the two are the same the two quite often. If the check engine light illuminates, it will either blink or remain constantly illuminated, depending on the problem. A blinking light, or in some cars a red light instead of a yellow or orange light, indicates a problem that needs immediate attention. Either way, you should have the vehicle checked by a mechanic. Service engine soon is an indicator that specifically indicates that there is an issue or malfunction detected with the engine of the vehicle. Service vehicle soon light turns on when there is a fault condition in an area of the vehicle chassis systems such as the anti-lock brake system, the traction control, the electronic suspension, or the brake hydraulic system. It's extremely important to immediately have it diagnosed by a mechanic in order to avoid operating the damaged engine and damaging it further. Overdrive light. This light indicates that the vehicle's overdrive system has been turned off. The OD off light means that your vehicle has disabled the overdrive functionality and hence your transmission cannot shift to the highest gear to facilitate acceleration on an upgrade or deceleration on a downgrade. The overdrive feature on an automatic transmission is normally bound to a specific button usually found on the gear shift mechanism. Once enabled the overdrive feature brings the RPMs of the engine down at a specific speed and will allow for a smoother ride and better fuel efficiency. This feature also helps give your vehicle the best performance at a higher cruising speed. Again, contributing to a smoother ride overall with minimized fuel loss. When the OD off switch is activated, it indicates that the overdrive gear is turned off and the torque converter isn't locked, that means your car is limited only to lower gears and won't shift gears to higher gears. If the OD gear indicator light isn't on, the OD gear is not activated. You can turn off the overdrive light by pressing the overdrive selector on the gear shifter. Oil change reminder. This light indicates that the oil pressure in your vehicle's engine has dropped and you need to take action immediately. If you continue to drive with this light on, you may cause severe damage to your vehicle's engine. If the light flashes on while you are driving, it means the oil pressure in your car's engine has dropped. An engine requires a constant supply of oil typically when moving for its parts to get lubricated. For most vehicles, a standard oil change has to be done at an interval of 3 months or after every 3,000 miles. But with modern lubricants, most engines today have recommended oil change intervals of 5,000 to 7,500 miles. Moreover, if your car's engine requires full synthetic motor oil, it might go as far as 15,000 miles between services. Should you reset the oil change light? This light lets you know when the engine oil needs changing based on the car's odometer reading. The oil change light won't turn off on its own, even when the old oil has been drained and fresh oil added, that's where resetting the oil change light comes in. But remember that resetting the light is worth doing, not just because of the annoyance of seeing the light on constantly. If you haven't resent the warning light, your vehicle will have no way of telling you the next time an oil change is needed. Master Warning Light The Master Warning Light notifies you about a problem in one or more of the vehicle's advanced systems. The Master Warning Light flashed in two colors red and yellow. If the warning symbol has an exclamation point in a triangle in yellow, it indicates a fault in the vehicle's stability control system. 
The vehicle can be driven with caution, but without the benefit of the advanced electronic control system. If this red light is on, there will likely be text displayed on the instrument panel. Look for text in particular, it could point out something as serious as low oil pressure or simple reminders such as a door ajar or time to change the oil. This light indication may differ depending on the make and model of a vehicle, but the following are some potential reasons for why the master warning light may be on in the dashboard. Low tire pressure, low fuel, low washer fluid, low coolant, low battery voltage, a door is ajar, the parking brake is still engaged, headlights have been left on, and the fuel cap is loose or missing. IC Road Warning Light This light turns on when the outside air starts to reach freezing temperatures around 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Even though water usually starts freezing at about 32 degrees Fahrenheit, this warning light will turn on before that point to warn the driver that ice may start forming. In this stage, the light will be amber in color, as temperatures get lower and lower, the light will turn red, to indicate that the outside temperatures are below freezing and that ice is a real possibility. Gas or fuel cap. This light turns on if the gas cap is not tightened correctly, or it means that the computer has detected a leak in the system, typically from a loose gas cap. If this light comes on while driving, pull over in a safe spot and resecure the cap, if the gas cap looks okay and the light does not turn off, have a certified technician investigate the issue and determine the cause. Sometimes a leak somewhere in the system can trigger the fuel cap indicator to light up. Whatever the reason is, if your fuel cap indicator light goes on, do not ignore it. ESP fault or traction control malfunction. This light indicates a problem with the vehicle's traction control. ESP stands for Electronic Stability Program, also known as Dynamic Stability Control, Active Skid Control, and Vehicle Stability Control. They all function in very much the same manner and are designed to improve car stability when driving on hard surfaces. This light may turn on when driving in adverse conditions. If the warning light is flashing, that means the ESP traction control is working and you will feel more grip within your wheels. If your vehicle's ESP warning light stays on, it means that an important electronic driving aid no longer functions. What causes the ESP light to turn on? The ESP works together with the ABS, it makes it hard to identify the main cause of the problem immediately. To determine the problem causing the ESP light, check the trouble codes with a diagnostic scanner. Distance Warning Light this light indicates that the computer has detected a vehicle in front is too close or is being approached too quickly. This may not always be a car and could be a large object in the road. Clogged air filter. This light indicates when there is reduced airflow to the engine. The air filter removes dirt and debris from the outside air before the air flows into the engine cylinders. A little dirt on the filter is okay but leaving it unchanged for too long may restrict the airflow into the engine and reduce engine performance. On the other hand, a clean air filter can improve gas mileage, acceleration, and engine life while lowering emissions. If this light comes on, you should have the air filter replaced or at least inspected. Catalytic Converter Warning Indicator light means the catalytic converter is either overheating or not operating as intended. The warning symbol looks like flames or wavy lines rising from a pipe. A catalytic converter is an exhaust emission control device that converts toxic gases and pollutants in exhaust gas from an internal combustion engine into less toxic pollutants by catalyzing a redox reaction. The inside of the catalytic converter consists of a honeycomb design that increases the surface area in contact with the air. Over time, the metal can start to deteriorate and plug up the holes, leading to overheating issues caused by restricted airflow. Always have the oxygen sensors tested before replacing the catalytic converter. The oxygen sensors can also malfunction leading the computer to think that the converter isn't working properly. Brake Fluid The most likely cause of the brake warning light is that the brake fluid level has got a little low. 
You should stop when it's safe to do so, consult your owner's manual to locate the brake fluid reservoir, and top it up with the correct brake fluid. This should result in the brake warning light going out. Brake Pad Warning The brake wear indicator light is a fairly new addition to today's automobiles. Mainly found on higher-end cars, this indicator light will let you know when it's time to get your brakes checked out. The light will come on before the brakes are completely worn out to give you enough time to replace them before any damage occurs. Driving with worn brake pads is always dangerous, your car fundamentally loses its ability to slow down or stop, and the longer you drive with worn brake pads the more damage you'll do to the braking system as a whole. If your car's brake pads are worn out, get them replaced immediately, it is safe to drive with this light on for a short amount of time. As mentioned earlier, the light will come on when you still have some brake pad material left, but if you wait too long and continue driving, you will run out of material and damage the rotors. Brake Lights Warning Indicator light means an exterior brake light bulb is defective. Check the operation of all the exterior brake light bulbs. Automatic Gearbox Warning Light this means there's an issue with the transmission, possibly the fluid temperature, fluid level, or pressure. Because the transmission warning light can come on for a variety of reasons, some of which are significant problems, you should not continue to drive your vehicle with the light illuminated. You, or your mechanic, should diagnose and repair the problem right away to prevent further damage to the vehicle. ABS Warning Light the ABS Anti-Lock Braking System Warning Light alerts the driver to a potential problem with the ABS system. For instance, special sensors monitor the speed of the wheels. If one or more of these wheel speed sensors are inoperative or defective, the ABS warning light will remain on. The same is true if there is a problem with the wiring. The symbol will look like the letters ABS surrounded by two circles, with the top and bottom of the outer circle cut off. The ABS prevents the wheels from locking up when a driver slams on the brake pedal in an emergency situation or on a wet or slippery surface. All-Wheel Drive This light indicates your car has activated all-wheel drive system. If the service four-wheel drive light is on, there may be an issue with the system. Four-Wheel Drive Lock this indicator light means that the vehicle's four-wheel drive lock mode is activated. Airbag Indicator This indicator light turns on when the front airbag is switched off. If this lamp lights up or flashes, there is a fault in the airbag or seatbelt system. It also indicates that a problem has been detected in the system, and one or more airbags may not inflate in the event of a collision. Air Suspension the air suspension warning light means there is a problem with the air suspension bags, likely due to a leak or inflation issue. Now let's look at the light symbols. Low Beam Indicator Light This indicator light means that the vehicle's dipped beam is on. Lamp Out or Exterior Light Fault This light indicates that one or more headlamp bulbs or other bulbs have burned out or are defective. This is another symbol that may utilize an exclamation point, which always indicates a problem, even if it's in the green color. High Beam Light Indicator This light indicates your car's high beam headlights are on, or if the high beam flash function is used. Auto High Beam Indicator Light This means the auto high beam system has switched on high beam headlights. This will automatically turn on, when conditions are clear, and will turn off when it detects that there is another vehicle ahead of you or coming towards you. Headlight Range Control Light This light turns on if there is an issue detected with the headlight range control system. The range control will be disabled temporarily until the problem has been solved. Front Fog Lights This indicator light means front fog lights are turned on. Adaptive Light System this light will lit when adaptive headlights are turned on. Unlike traditional headlights, which are in a fixed position and only capable of illuminating directly in front of you, adaptive headlights are not in a fixed position at all times. These headlights use electronic sensors that can detect your steering angle to swivel based on the direction your car is heading. 
Water or condensation within the headlight is the most common cause for adaptive headlight failure. Side Indicator This light will turn on when the normal headlights are in use. Side lights aren't as bright as headlights so are used by drivers to make themselves visible to traffic during times when it's not dark enough for main lights. Rear fog lights switched on. This means rear fog lights are on. The job of the rear fog lamp is to reveal the position of your vehicle when driving in the fog, snow or other conditions that limit visibility. Your normal tail lights are fairly dim, so they are not as likely be seen in foggy weather. Rain and light sensor indicator light. This means there is an issue with the sensor system. The wipers and lights will not function automatically. These sensors can detect rain on the windshield and analyze the overall brightness outside. The main function of these light sensors to control the automatic headlights. Now let's look at the common symbols. Windshield defrost and rear window defrost. This indicator light means that the window defrost is in operation. Whenever the light is illuminated, the defroster is turned on. The symbol for the front is a curved window, while the rear is rectangular. Washer fluid reminder. This light's only function is to let the driver know the windscreen washer fluid is low and to remind them to go fill it up. Once you have filled up the reservoir with fluid, the light should go out immediately. Even if the reservoir is full, a faulty fluid level sensor may keep the light on. In such scenario, have the sensor checked and, if required, replaced. Low fuel level. If your car is low on fuel, you can see an icon resembling a fuel pump with a hose. It glows if the system detects there is insufficient fuel. If you see a low fuel warning light, refuel immediately. Key not in vehicle. The key not in vehicle warning light tells you when your key isn't detected in your car, so you don't drive off without it. Cars equipped with keyless ignition will have a warning light on the dash to let you know if the correct key fob hasn't been detected. Nowadays, some cars are able to sense when the driver is approaching the vehicle with the key and doors will unlock automatically. Another addition to this safety system is remote keyless ignition, which allows you to start the car without inserting the key anywhere. The key sends out a coded radio signal to let the car know that the correct key is being used. Hood or bonnet open. The symbol indicates that the car's bonnet is not closed correctly. Pull over safely and check the hood to make sure it is closed all the way. Once the hood has been closed properly, the light should turn off. The light may appear if there's an issue with the bonnet's locking mechanism. Hazard lights on. It illuminates when you switch on the hazard lights. Hazard warning lights are a pair of intermittent flashing indicator lights that flash in unison to warn other drivers that the vehicle is a temporary obstruction. Different countries use hazard warning lights in different ways. You may use your hazard warning lights if your vehicle is stationary to warn other road users that it is causing a temporary traffic obstruction. You may have broken down, had an accident, run out of fuel, or been forced to stop by an obstruction in the road. Door ajar. The light lets you know that one or more of your doors is either open or not closed securely. Direction Signal Indicators The direction indicator lights signal when your car is turning left or right. Always use your turn signals when driving, it informs everyone around you of your intended driving actions so they aren't surprised if you start to merge into their lane. Always make sure that you turn off your turn signals if the steering wheel doesn't automatically do it for you. And now let's take a look at advanced feature symbols. Recirculated Cabin Air this indicator light means that the vehicle's ventilation system is recirculating air from within the vehicle. The longer it's on, the cooler your car gets, until it's as cool as it can possibly be. If you don't use it, the car will use the air from the outside that is a lot warmer, and your AC will work harder and continuously to cool the hot air from the outside. Rear Spoiler Warning The rear spoiler warning light indicates that a fault has been detected with the spoiler system. Parking with Park Assist Pilot Generally, if the parking assist light is illuminated in green on your dash, it indicates that the system is active and assessing the road around you. 
Volkswagen cars with Park Assist steer fully automatically when parking. The driver only needs to operate the accelerator and brakes. To activate Park Assist you may need to toggle a button to turn the system on, or it may turn on automatically at low speeds, or when the reverse mode is engaged. Lane Assist When this light is on, the Lane Assist system is active. Lane Keeping Assist system helps detect lane markers on the road with a camera at the front windshield and assists the driver steering to help keep the vehicle between lanes. When the system detects the vehicle straying from its lane, it alerts the driver with a visual and audible warning while applying a slight counter-steering torque to try to help prevent the vehicle from moving out of its lane. Lane Keeping Assist system is not a substitute for safe driving practices, but a convenience function only. It is the responsibility of the driver to always be aware of the surrounding and steer the vehicle. Lane Departure Warning The warning light comes up if the vehicle changes lanes or moves out of its current lane without indicating the surrounding traffic. Lane Departure Warning is designed to help you avoid crashes due to drifting or departing your lane. The system detects lane markers and alerts you when a tire touches a lane marker. The warning is usually a flashing indicator and it beeps from the corresponding side. Key Fob Battery Low This indicator light lets you know when your key fob battery needs to be changed and replaced so you can continue using the remote. Your car's remote battery is expected to last between 3 and 6 months under normal circumstances. The battery is not for a lifetime, so, knowing the battery's lifespan will enable you to prepare for a replacement when necessary. On most vehicles, the system is designed such that when the battery power declines to a certain level, it triggers the keyless remote battery low light on your car's dashboard. Ignition Switch Warning This indicator light means there's an issue with the ignition system or the car key. Depending on the vehicle, this warning light could mean a few things. It could indicate an issue with the ignition switch or show that there is a problem with the key being used. An issue with the ignition switch is usually mechanical and it would prevent the key from turning. Hill Descent Control This symbol lights up when the Hill Descent Control system is activated. The system helps you maintain a specific speed while driving down the hill. If the Hill Descent Control indicator light is on steadily, the system is on and engaged, controlling vehicle speed. If the Hill Descent Control indicator light is blinking, the system is on, but not engaged, not controlling vehicle speed. The yellow amber version is an all-terrain progress control indicator. It is shown to confirm that the ATPC system is enabled. Forward Collision Warning Forward Collision Warning is a driver safety system that uses system to detect other vehicles in the front area of the driver's car. The warning sign appears when the vehicle is too close to another car, obstacle, or pedestrians. This warning system uses a radar sensor, located behind the lower grille below the front bumper, to measure the distance to a second vehicle ahead in the same lane. Eco Driving Indicator an eco indicator light helps the driver to drive in a more fuel-efficient way by monitoring acceleration and indicating when you're driving in a way that wastes gas. If you step too hard on the accelerator, the eco light disappears from display. On an average, if the eco light is on, the computer is letting you know that the engine is operating close to its maximum miles per gallon. The eco light is a good thing, but it's okay if you don't see it all the time, it's normal for it to go off when you're speeding up or slowing down to adjust to road conditions. Always try to match the speed of traffic before focusing on eco mode. Cruise Control This lights will show up when the cruise control system is on. The sign goes off as soon as you tap on the brakes or deactivate cruise control. Most cruise control lights use two different colors to let you know what state the system is in. Typically, the cruise control light will be orange when the system is on, but a speed hasn't been chosen yet, once a speed is selected, this light will turn green. Adaptive Cruise Control It is still used in the same way as regular cruise control. Once you turn on the cruise control mode and get your vehicle up to a particular speed, the car will maintain that speed for you. Once engaged, the adaptive cruise control will allow you to choose a set distance from cars ahead of you. 
If the computer sees the gap closing at front, it will apply the brakes to slow your vehicle down and will warn you with a sound or flashing light. Convertible Roof Warning Light This lamp will be lit while the roof is either opening or closing. When the roof is fully opened or closed, the lamp goes out. If the lamp is lit continuously the roof is not fully opened, or there is a fault in the system. Brake Hold Indicator Light Auto Brake Hold is an advanced system that automatically applies and releases the parking brake when in situations like stop and go traffic. The indicator is on in green when the system is activated. This brake hold function is great for city drivers that stop frequently at lights when pulling up to a drive through or just general driving. This allows you to take your foot off the brake when you're stopped at a light and your vehicle won't move. The brake hold is automatically released once you press on the gas. Blind Spot Indicator Light Blind Spot Warning helps you detect cars in hard-to-see areas, commonly known as blind spots. BSW systems monitor the blind spots on both sides of your car. When a car is detected, a yellow or red indicator will light up. Some systems also provide a warning sound. In some cars, BSW is activated when you drive above a certain speed. The warning light will briefly illuminate in both outside rearview mirrors or window frames to let you know that the system is operational. In some cars, you will need to switch the system on or off manually by pressing the BSW button. Auto Windscreen Wiping This indicator light means the windscreen wipers are in operation on automatic mode. Winter Mode In most cars, there's a light on the dashboard to indicate that winter mode is on, it's usually marked with a snowflake symbol. When it's working correctly, the light will illuminate when you turn it on and go out when you turn it off. Also, it may indicate that the vehicle has been placed in snow mode. This symbol is used exclusively to indicate cold weather and the possibility of frost on the roadway. The same is true of the second version, where the snowflake or ice crystal symbol is shown in a triangle. Start-Stop Warning Light The start-stop system detects when the car is stationary and on the basis of sensors, it determines a series of other factors about the operating mode of the vehicle. If the driver has stopped at a traffic light and sets the transmission to neutral, the start-stop system stops the engine. The A stands for automatic start or stop, as its function takes place without a driver's intervention. Start or stop systems are fuel-saving systems that allow a gasoline-powered engine to shut down at typical idle times such as at red lights and restart with the touch of the gas pedal. Speed Limiter They illuminate when a speed has been set and the limiter is active. A speed limiter is a safety device that's fitted to a car to prevent the vehicle from exceeding certain preset speed limits. EV Mode Hybrid vehicle manufacturers may allow drivers to choose to operate the vehicle with the electric motor, only powered by the hybrid battery, for as long the battery will hold out. This indicator, with or without the word mode, will be lit when this choice has been made by the driver. So that's it, I hope you guys enjoy this video, thanks for watching.